All right, so in this video, I want to talk a little bit about loops and how loops are done in Raptor. Uh, basically, uh, when you do loops in Raptor, let me load Raptor up here. So suppose you're coming along and you have a loop that you want to put in, so you just take it and you put it in there. So if you notice, by default, the way that Raptor does loops, you've got this condition here that evaluates to true or false. And if it evaluate if if the result is a false or no, I, I should say, um, it goes back and repeats. So it's going to repeat this loop when this condition evaluates to false. Right? And when it evaluates to true finally, it will exit out. So basically, this is kind of backwards um, uh, based on how most programming languages work, such as uh, C++ and, and Java. Usually, with, with a traditional while loop, is what, what we call them, it's going to repeat while the condition is true. So in other words, it's basically backwards of how Raptor does it and, it, and it exits out when the condition becomes false. Okay. So this is a little confusing if you're if you're trying to be consistent with uh, maybe how most books and most programming languages uh, use while loops. So um, it's, I didn't for the longest time I just kind of went with it and, and and it's actually somewhat of a good exercise in trying to think about your logic a little bit and 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 stuff, but I did come across some instructions on how you could reverse this loop logic so that it's so that the yes path will take you back to the beginning of the loop and the no path or the false path will exit out of the loop. So let's see if we can get that to work. I have not tried this yet. So basically I need to exit out exit out of Raptor. Okay. And so I came across this on um on the uh, Martin Carlyle website, the main Raptor site, and he does have a little, uh, little information here about loops. So um, he mentions that you can actually do a registry edit, and you can edit this registry key here and change the reverse loop logic to true. Okay, so I'm thinking I'm I'm thinking you probably have to have admin privileges on your on your machine that you're working on, but we'll give it a shot here. Um, I, I have I should have admin admin privilege here, and also I found th these instructions, which basically show the step by step instructions on how to do this. So let's see if we can get this to work. So so basically it says if the loop structure has no going back to the loop and yes going to the end. You need to reverse the, and you want to reverse the loop logic. Here's how you do it. Okay. So we're going to go to the uh, command prompt. So step two here, bring a command prompt, and and we're going to see so right click the command and click run, uh, and we're going to type in reg edit the registry edit. So we should be able to do this. Actually, we could probably just do the, there we go. Just type it in Windows 7 here, you just type it. Reg, edit, boom, and run it. Okay, and then ask you, do you want to make some changes to the registry? And say yes. All right, so this is what we want, this registry editor here. Okay. All right, so. Navigate to the folder HKEY Local Machine Software. Let's see if we have that. There's HKEY local machine. Here's software. And we need to look for Raptor. So let's see if we have Raptor down here. 
So I do not see Raptor. Okay. But it says if you do not find this folder, right click on software folder and choose new and then key. Alright, so we'll do that. So go back up to software, right click and choose new and then key. Okay. And then change that key name to Raptor. It's in all uppercase, so I'll do it there. I don't know that it matters there. Raptor. And then right click, step five over here. Right click on the Raptor folder and choose new string value. Okay, and then over here we've got new value one and it says change the name to reverse underscore loop underscore logic. I think that needs to be just like how it is. All, probably all lowercase. Reverse underscore loop underscore logic. Okay. And then right click it. Here we'll uh, see that. So right click it and choose modify. And then change set value data to true. And then from the menu, in the file menu, choose exit. All right. So now let's try it and see if it's different now in Raptor. That's what we should get. So let's see. Raptor. And let's try to put in a loop. Sweet! So now, if you notice, the, the loop logic is reversed. So now, as long as the condition is true, or yes, it's going to go back and repeat things. But if it's false or no, it's going to exit out. Awesome. And that's how you reverse the loop logic in Raptor. And now it will be more consistent with traditional while loops and setting up test uh, while loop conditions and stuff. All right. Very good.